travel sketching in Portugal day four. This was the beautiful palace of Montserrat which we visited, so another palace in Sintra and that meant another bit of mountain as well. There were lovely gardens, there were different styles of gardens, so they had Mexican gardens, a lovely rose garden which is quite unusual in that it was kind of on a hillside so it wasn't formally set out um, it was just quite informal and uh, lovely and kind of ramble it you just kind of rambled through it uh, we did see a little lizard or something in the rose garden which was quite interesting and one of the main features of the planting were the cork oaks and Portugal is the largest cork producer in the world and they had really highly textured bark and uh, what I found interesting was that some of the um, trees had like ferns actually growing in the bark which I've never seen before uh, but onto the palace it was had really delicate and intricate plaster work in the hallway uh, stretching kind of across the ceiling and it just reminded me of cake icing it was just so beautiful and kind of filigree so the palace was symmetrical uh, with a circular music room at one end which echoed the circular entrance hall and then outside it had terraces beautiful terraces on both sides uh, now as you see from the photograph there was work being done to some of the building but the beauty of painting and sketching is that you don't actually have to include the scaffolding and the well actually they did quite a good job of screening it with the white sheet but um you don't have to include that in your sketch so we found this bench which was overlooking the palace would have been nicer if the whole thing was on but it was a beautiful spot to have some lunch and for me to sketch this painting and i kind of feel like i didn't quite get the colors right of the building but again that's sketchbook I don't have like a spare piece of paper to uh, get the colours to test the colours out but hopefully I've captured a little bit of the intricacy of uh, of the building.